Hello! So, I don't normally do this sort of thing. I don't like doing tutorials because I don't like my own voice and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people don't like my own voice too. But, I've discovered a neat little trick in Flash that I can't believe I didn't discover sooner. So I thought I would share that and give a little tutorial as to how to do it. So, for a very long time I've hated doing shading. I I'm really bad at it, and I really like soft, subtle lights, which is uh, really difficult to do unless you want to convert every individual frame into a movie clip. I did find another way to do it, which involved nesting that animation in a movie clip, and then copying it over on a layer mask, and doing all sorts of crazy stuff, and in the end you had like four layers for one character's animation, it didn't work all the time, it broke the SWIFT file a lot, so I've been looking for another way to to sort of do that sort of soft rim lighting style. Uh, so playing around, I managed to, you know, figure something out. So I have here a pre-animated character. Let me just... there we go. This is a background character from one of my upcoming cartoons. So as you can see, he is there's no shading, he is completely, you know, all the colors are flat, he's very boring looking, you can't tell where the light is coming from. So, what you do is you go down to this little panel right. By the way, as far as I know, this method works in every version of Flash uh, that has the filter panel. So I think that's every version of, of Flash after MX2004? I'm not sure. Anyway, so, basically what you're going to want to do is, once you've finished animating your character, nest his animation into a movie clip like I've done here. So, it's still the, the same. So you see I've got this animation nested here, let me just play it real quick. Alright, so, it's still the same, you have to nest the animation in a movie clip kind of style, but this one works way better, especially if you use a program like Swivel to convert your Flash file into a movie file afterwards. It works beautifully. It works, it just looks great, and I, I love it, and I can't believe it took me so long to figure it out. So, what you're going to want to do is go down to the filter panel. You're going to click on your object. Oh, wait, let me leave this. Okay, you're going to click on your object. You're going to find the filter called Drop Shadow. Now that creates a shadow that looks like that. We don't want that. We want to go down here and hit Inner Shadow. We want to go to Quality, High. And it's going to look a little bit weird in the uh, Flash file, but once you export it to a Swift, it's going to look a lot better. So, then let's say you want uh, a source of light coming behind and slightly to the left of this character. So, I'm going to go to the filters, I'm going to go to color, uh, whatever color you want, let's say white at an alpha of 50. Uh, let me just change the background real quick, there we go. Alright, then you know, make sure it's at high quality. Uh, you're going to want the distance to be uh, somewhere around 10, probably 10 is fine. And then you just change the angle to suit your needs so that the light is coming from where you want it to come from. So, we're gonna go with... That looks good. Alright. <clears throat> now, it won't play in the actual timeline itself, so this is all something that should be done after the character's already been animated. But once that's done, you can export the Swift file. And, blah bam you have an animated rim light technique. He's uh, even casting shadows on himself because you can see his arm right there is blocking light from reaching his ear. Over there you can see that, his, uh, that there's light coming from the gap between his arm and his torso. And you can see down here that the sign is casting a shadow on him as well. So... I think it looks really neat. Obviously you can tweak this method to your needs. Let's say you want it to be a shadow instead, and you want the light coming from in front of him. You would just do that. There we go. Yeah, you can, it can be like a, a slight 
slightly yellow light. You know, something like that. Still works just fine. Looks great. I love it. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, really simple to do. It doesn't require any mask trickery, and uh, it works 100% of the time, as far as I can tell. So, thanks for watching. I hoped that helped some people who have trouble with shading. Uh, if you want to add more shading under it, obviously you can. It just, it's, it's really flexible, and I like it, so... You do with that what you will. I just wanted to inform people of this technique. And this doesn't require After Effects or anything like that. It can all be done in Flash. So, thanks for watching.